Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the wolf brothers made new friends on the way. They learned more about the world, but danger seemed to always follow them after a bad accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters finally captured him. They put him in a cage, but when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult, and he would not leave them. Suddenly, their mother showed up after all that time. She said she came to help rescue him. They begged the coyote leader, but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her hideaway. Hey, wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude, come on. What? What time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. So? Yeah, okay. Good call. Wow. That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. It's okay, Nano. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Brothers. Always.
So, are you still having those bad dreams? You know, about Lisbeth? Yeah. Sometimes, I feel like she's around, coming after me. It's scary. <sighs> she's lucky you didn't go after her. Yeah, but she's still out there. Somewhere. Creeps me out. Listen. We're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean. Are we criminals now? No way. We did exactly what we had to. If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anano. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? Oh. Yeah. I can tell you. <sighs> been forever since we left off. Way too long. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. So. Thanks to their mama wolf, the Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while, but at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination, Lied. A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me. Who's telling the story? You are. But it's my story too. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's true. Okay then. So what happens next? They, they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn manage to slay them and become heroes. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. This place is too pretty. So incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. <laughs> it's like we're right there. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. <laughs> but it scares the coyotes away. Activate flashlight. On the way. God damn, that food was amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Joanne. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. <sighs> Stop, Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? <sighs> no shit. Now cut it out. Jeez, you're no fun. <laughs> hey. 
every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Yeah, right. Sketching time. Good idea. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. Ever. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, striking a pose over the canyon. Hmm, I can try. Tada. Finished. Let me check it out. Oh, man. I do look like a mighty superhero. That's so cool. Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. This power is so cool. I love tie-dye and stuff now. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. <sighs> I'm glad we had these. Not a fan of desert critters. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. What are you doing? Dude, we don't have time to play. Come on, let's go. <sighs> okay, okay. I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. Yeah, these guys are real cool. Didn't Joanne will let me help her with the sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Not hide it. Yeah. Karen was right. 
They're all cool with it. Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? She's... Um, confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know... I mean... She hasn't seen you for years. Not sure she can deal with all of this at the same time. Huh. It must be weird for her. <sighs> I hear you. Hey, see this? <sighs> Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. When you got sick. Oh, totally. Wait, does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh, I bet it was Joanne. Looks like an eagle. Ah, oh, let's go find the nest. <laughs> yeah, then the eagle will eat you. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, oh, uh, good question. My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. Hmm. Now what the hell is that? Daniel? I see something behind this rock. Can you bring it over? Ah, oh, gotcha. I see. Here it comes. Oh, look at that. So cool. Yep. We're taking this treasure. Got the munchies. Hope. Hey, you know who I'd see having a trailer out here? <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Like, he could have his own radio station and everything. Oh, oh! Oh, man. So many wolves in this desert. <laughs> Uh, where were we? Yeah, definitely. It would be so cool to have him around. <laughs> I miss him sometimes. I wish I had the power to fly. It'd be such a short hike. After all that scary crap Daniel had to go through, nature still freaks him out. <laughs> you know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey. Let me be the cool, helpful big brother once in a while, okay? Oh, Ooh, look, 
look! Oh, man! I just saw a cool baby lizard! Yeah. And you scared it. <sighs> I know. Looks like a job for our local super... psychic boy. The light is so different from yesterday. It feels like a completely different place. Whoa. How did that happen? Rock slide, I guess. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be super careful. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice, man. see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> Go for it. I have to bring back the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back soon. Daniel, you copy? Yes, I read you. 10 4. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat pancake alert. Oh, man. Sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. 10 4. No flying pancakes today. Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Whoa. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. She's really good at rewriting her own life. This one's pretty intense. I think I get it. Karen doesn't even like to leave this place just to go shopping.
Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. Looks like they all finally found their home. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. They deserve some peace. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. I do remember Karen would drown her pancakes in hot sauce. Ugh, gross. One thing Claire and Karen have in common, their love for pancakes. She was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Huh. Is that the same person who rode her back in Beaver Creek? Man, I'm still not used to this heat out here. <sighs> Dad was an absolute fan of this movie. Huh, <laughs> maybe they were nerds together. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. Gotta keep my eye lube handy. Glad I don't need it as much. She changed my diapers, but it feels kind of awkward to be here. So good to have a home. Again. And a real bed. I didn't realize how much I miss Cassidy's voice and her songs. And, oh, dude.
had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. <sighs> Karen's a real life hacker. Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <sighs> Must pay better than poetry. Brody's so good at describing painful situations. And seeing the good into it. I miss you too, sis. Hope we can take some new pictures someday. Should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Karen did help us a lot since she found me and Daniel. Hmm. Better late than never. Um, more like no service anywhere. You are so busted. Hey, do you miss Beaver Creek? I miss having a house. But the town was kind of dead. But I really miss Chris. And Grandma and Grandpa. I'm just glad we're still a family out there. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Now I can see why Karen likes it out here. It just took a while. She really doesn't want to be a part of society. <laughs> Except just this tiny one. She did screw us over, though. But Daniel's so happy to have her back. Get to know her. I still don't know how I feel.
Karen taught me some cool off the grid shit. Water management is kind of a big thing around here. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Uh, maybe in Mexico. Oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Nice mess. Daniel will never change. Tell can't believe she's kept it. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. <laughs> Karen likes to join us too. <laughs> Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Guess people came here with ease and never left. <laughs> it's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. <laughs> we helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Love the energy out here, with everyone building stuff as they please. This place is the ultimate playground for Daniel. Joanne picks up all kinds of scraps from the desert. <laughs> she even found a boat once. I mean, it looks glorious, but it does it help you or anything? I don't know. It kind of helps me focus, get a better grip. Do you feel it? Like in your hand? Yeah, it titrals. In my fingers. Almost like pins and needles. That's so weird. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thanks. No matter what happened before, Karen did hook us up here. That counts. I love how they recycle everything into art construction or agriculture here. Joanne can throw a total rager out here, but without asshole neighbors. There's power cuts all the time here. 
But no one's really bothered by it. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. Love watching movies under the stars. Like a drive-in with no cars. Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You missed Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <sighs> kind of like me and Lila. Back in the day. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel, let's take a little break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah, I hear this one a lot. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> I bet you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. <laughs> Talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. <sighs> Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. Did you always want to be an artist? <laughs> Good grief, no. I tried very hard not to be one. Till I realized it was useless. Listen, if you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? <sighs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Ah, there you go. Now, go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. So, for my next trick, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here, but go ahead and be the artist. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Hell yeah. Let's do this. Maybe that's supposed to represent the Earth, or a ball. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the Earth ball onto the base? Watch this layup. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Hey, can you turn that earth ball around a little bit? Totally. <laughs> <sighs> Let 
<laughs> Looks like a freaking steampunk spider. Now, let's throw on that spider. Sweet. Be careful, Daniel. Don't want you to get hurt. Yo, can you turn that, that, um, uh, spider thingy around? You got it. Man, I thought my art was weird. Hmm. Maybe give that spider another twist? Watch this. Turn the spider, please. There he goes. <laughs> hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. See, shot. Okay, how about turning that pancake head? Check it out! <laughs> Spin that pancake! Spin! Totally! <laughs> now, turn that small one. There he goes! Rotation required, Captain. Check it out! <laughs> I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. That was fun. Joanna's so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes, and you can build whatever you want in it. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot, shrouded in dust. That's cool, Joanne trusted uh, me to help build her sculpture. Yeah, you hate it. All the way down, all the way down. Bad habits turned religious dogmas. Or uh, just a stupid pile of scrap. I should bring the telescope back to Art and Stand before I forget. <laughs> you okay, Joanne? As fine as frogs here, sweetie. I, I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. This is such a weird fucking place. <laughs> but that's what's cool about it. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town.
This place is such a trip. It's kind of like a desert mirage. You think you can see it, but the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks, but they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor. I bet Hippie started this place. I'm starting to see why now. <laughs> I could get you. <laughs> These guys are like social directors here. I still love to party. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. Oh, not again. <laughs> it's kind of cute, though. <laughs> you think they picked this up at the gas station? I hope not. It's too cute. <laughs> Bear. I sure wish we had him around now. He was a good guy. <sighs> now that's some real patriots. <laughs> Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. Arthur and Stanley cannot wait for the 4th of July. <sighs> Me neither. Yeah. Daniel still misses Chris. Hey, your Captain Spirit drawing was awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Wish I could show it to Chris. Do you think he can visit us down in Puerto Lobos? Yep. Let's make it happen. I hope the UFOs are listening. David always wants to help, but he's tough to figure out. <laughs> Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Hey, what's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. No kidding. Hey, how was your sleepover in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it, too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. 
Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder where she got this. From her mom, probably. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Does she come visiting often? <sighs> Not as much as I'd want. Can't really blame her. But you know, well, some parts of the year this place is full of friends and family. Christmas, for example. So, don't you ever get bored? Being out here is a big change. We do sometimes. We're in a desert. I miss the parks, cafes, shopping. But this place is something else. And we feel safe out here. If you could have seen me as a family man a few years ago, I had everything but nothing. Now I have nothing but everything. Thanks to this one. <sighs> After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. <sighs> I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own away. You will. People come here to reset their life, become the person they want to be, or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh-huh. I'll remember that on the next hike. I'm gonna hang around before it gets too hot. Thanks for the desert, Brew. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. <sighs> now that's some real patriots. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, uh, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. You know it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. Super Wolf to Big Brother. Copy, I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? 10 4. Okay, you're on it, Nano. Yes! Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Deal. So for the first item is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. That's, that's it. That's your clue? You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. It's close, Sean. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Because you'll need it to match up with the other part. <sighs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Sure.
Yo, can you give me that last hint? Are you serious? The second item is where the sun meets the earth. Hmm. You're in the middle zone. Warm. Not too far. You're warming up. You're in the middle zone. Warm. Oh, man. You're right there. Just look around. Just grab it. You're here. Found it. Nice. And it's a tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah. Ahoy, matey. I think I have the whole treasure map. Aye, Captain. Now you just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. That's a cool-ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. Getting closer. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Ooh. Looks like something's buried here. Yes! I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. Looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but it looks like the real deal. Store! You know what time it is. Victory! Dance time! Come on! You asked for it. Oh, I think you're spotting Mom's truck coming back. Mm, yes, one hundred percent her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. So, what are you guys up to? Hiding from the heat. Careful out there, kid. It's fire falling from the sky. So poetic. I might park on my ukulele. Oh, great. <laughs> All right. Have fun, you two. Too bad there's nobody my age here. Huh. But this is where people come to get old. Eyes always bums me out. Reminds me of my hometown. Oh, yeah. Beaver Creek, Oregon, right? Yeah. I always forget that you lived in Oregon, too. Small town America. If you're not careful enough. <laughs> Looks like Karen is back from town. Small too. Maybe she needs my help. I know. I'm gonna change these water tanks one day. These ones aren't fit to survive the climate apocalypse. <laughs> Still fitter than us. You don't shit where you sleep, kid. <laughs> okay, David. Thanks for the explanation. <laughs> it 
Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Looking good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? <sighs> it was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it. Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes! Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. Yep, Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. And that made him tougher. And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> You boys have been here over a month, and I still can't get over Daniel's... <sighs> ...skills. <sighs> Me neither, but I never figured it out, so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. <sighs> Thanks. I tried my best. I guess it's reassuring, but what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower before. I try to be a good influence. Not always easy, but he listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Guess you never really know. Listen, raising a kid is the toughest job in the world. Trust me, combat was easier. Oh. You didn't tell me you were married. I uh, used to be. We're divorced now. Her daughter's death left her heart broken. Same for me. We just couldn't put our pieces back together after what happened. I'm sorry, David. And yeah, the worst thing is, I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter before she died. We were like oil and water. And she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to deal with her. Wish I did. Anyway, you can't go back. <sighs> nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> Catch you later, Sean. Oh. <laughs> okay, time out. Oh my God. I'm gonna melt. That was awesome, Mom. Now I know why they don't play baseball in the desert. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. You think? Joanne is so cool. Stanley's so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Taryn. <laughs> just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. Hey, I gotta go.
go help Joanne with her sculptures. <laughs> Don't let me stop you. See you later, Mom. You can put those inside the trailer. Thanks, guys. I hope my crops will make it. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. Is that a new statue? That woman is amazing. I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> You've been here over a month now. What do you think of our little oasis? <laughs> Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But people here are not gonna get in your space. They have their own past, too. <sighs> That's why people come here from all over the country. For their own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. There's bad shit going on in this desert. Yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all uh, talk? Is everything okay? Uh, yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Big brother to Super Wolf. We need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Hola, compadre. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Now, nah. you'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man, I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <clears throat> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. <laughs> then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. 
Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. a wolf. Better be careful of hunters out here. The wolf brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but that's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. <laughs> you actually helped us. You gave us a place to recharge and lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. <sighs> I know. <sighs> this is the best place to take some time for yourself. You don't get that chance very often in life. Just know I love both of you so much, and I'm proud of who you are, and where you're going. <clears throat> By the way, um, if you wanted to, you could come with us. To Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This gonna last forever. So... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow. Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things.
Whoa, awesome! Cool. Let's light up the sky. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So let's we have to leave again. I think... I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. <laughs> I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to, to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start on the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too, for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom! We'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me, but try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way. I don't know. Dad didn't raise us this way. He was a rebel, but he wasn't a criminal. He didn't teach us to say, fuck it. Esteban had a lot more faith in the system than me. I had to do shit my own way. Look, I only want you and Daniel to get what you deserve. Okay, this is the last roundup. Wait, let me say bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna 
go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but... Still, here it goes. It was so good for Daniel to see you again. He needed that more than anything. I'm sorry for getting you into trouble. You've done your best for us. And don't deserve what's coming. We'll make up for it. One day. Once the dust has settled. Take care. And talk soon. Sean. Tell can't believe she's kept it. <laughs> Karen takes on some small piece works for a living. <laughs> Must pay better than poetry. mind do the job <laughs> easy yeah it's pretty cool you just have to train focus on something and let your imagination speak mm. okay I'll try it would be weird to be back on the road with Daniel after all this time in a community Hey, what's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? <laughs> Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. <laughs> Good, that makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, you and Daniel. It did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. 
<laughs> You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. <laughs> Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself. And my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey. Is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. I'll miss you so much, Joanne. Oh, I know, sweetie. I'll miss you too. I had so much fun and inspiration building all these things with you. Me too. It's the first time I use my power to actually build something. I usually just use it because I have to. Hey, don't worry. I'm sure we'll get another chance to work together once you're settled. Yeah, I hope so. <sighs> Should go see what David wants now. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. Swing by our place before you leave, will ya? Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just... Time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Yeah, but it's too risky, especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. <laughs> Not these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. Shit, I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care, you hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Damn. Can't wrap my head around those two leaving. That's just unfair. Daniel please, just got his mom. Back. Please don't let the cops come looking for us out here. It wasn't forever, honey. They have their own way to go. Okay, dude. Don't forget about David. You'll be fine in Mexico. Don't worry. Hey. Oh. Need any help? Just checking out the levels and cleaning up the filters. <laughs> I 
I didn't know you were such a gearhead. Oh, Sean, this is basic car maintenance. And I may not be a pro like your father was, but I, I got some solid skills. I have to, out here. Yeah, sorry. I'm the newbie. I never really got into cars and stuff. <laughs> Esteban was obsessed with his engines. That doesn't mean you had to be, too. Yeah. He only wanted me to find my own way. Whatever that was. Wish I had more time. Listen, Esteban loved you and Daniel for exactly who you are. He would be proud that you're going back to his homeland today. <sighs> Wish he was here with us. It's bullshit that we get to see Puerto Lobos, but he doesn't. I know. But Esteban is still with you. And he always wanted you and Daniel to see where he came from. I don't know anything about Mexico. It's scary. Sean, you're carrying the weight of two people on your shoulders now. It's okay to be nervous. I'm just tired of running. Of causing trouble everywhere we go. Daniel's power is overwhelming and we don't know where it comes from but you do know your brother you'll be there for each other i just want to get this shit over with so we can start over if we can your brother sure isn't a little kid anymore he had to grow up too fast. He wants to be equals, and you guys are gonna have to work together. He may even help you make it. Maybe you're right. You'll figure it out, like you always do. Okay, better get back to my tune-up. Hey, don't forget to see David. I will. We won't be leaving anything behind. This time. Everyone hooked us up from their own stocks. So we won't have to stop. When we're in Mexico. Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. Come on. I'll join you when I'm done. Must be his ex-wife. He's changed so much since this. And not for the best. Wonder where David got this police scanner. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. Didn't think he'd be the type of guy to get custom plates. Yep, David is ready for that apocalypse or whatever. That's right. I never saw David even drink a beer.
Weird. Didn't know David was so punk rock. Yeah, me and David won't be sharing any playlist. I feel you, David. What's David doing with that? Creepy dude. Okay. How does this thing work? Uh, okay. We gotta search between 140 and 160. But uh, back to our caller, talking about. Mm, don't think so. Keep scanning. Uh, all I was saying is, uh, now you have these these, these eco terrorists trying to shut down our way of life, just to just to punish us. You can't even look at a, a tree anymore without getting some some fine or new regulation if the earth is getting so damn hot i mean why is there snow oh, i applaud you sir for not buying into the climate propaganda you all know i have spent my whole life fighting this fascism just like your humble host this planet is a gift from god and we can do whatever we want. Thanks for the call, Scott. All right, we'll be back to the Truss Limbo Show after a message from our sponsor. You don't want to get old and die without a retirement plan for your family. So let our financial experts save your future today. Call for a free quote. Still not the right one. Come on. can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. Thanks, David. You big rebel. Your mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just... Honest. I know, David. Thanks. 
here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and how it's changed you. Pretty much. Not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. I didn't know how to deal with emotions or other people. Are you talking about your stepdaughter? Yeah. Some rich fucking kid shot her at school where I was supposed to protect her. Me and her hated each other on sight. But once I lost her, everything became clear. How selfish and stupid I had been. I should have listened to Chloe instead of being a bully. All of my fuck-ups are crystal clear now. But I'm not gonna fuck this up. Sean, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? <laughs> yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free sooner than later. I don't know. I might turn myself in after I see what happens with Daniel. I know you want to settle down first, but keep your options open. Think about it. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So, I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, I really have to take this. Hey, Joyce, right on time. Yeah, I'm good. Finally done setting up those solar panels. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm mostly working when the sun's going down. You got that right. How about you? Oh, uh, any news from the vet? Good. That's a relief. Hope I can see that little boy next time I swing by Santa Rosa. Nah. Still haven't heard anything. Just hope they won't let him out. Well... No lawyers. Can't expect much from them. Sure. Okay. <sighs> Take care. Talk soon. Bye-bye.
Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. Be right there. Over. So, did you get to say goodbye to Away? Yeah. Kinda sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, Inanna. Come here. Mom, I, I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both and what you're going to do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. <sighs> Let's hit the road. boys stay safe this hurts bye everybody Something wrong? We're almost there, okay? That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So, what's the problem? What? What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? As long as we want. We have a house there. That's what Dad wanted, and I know. So, what are we gonna do for money and stuff? I get a job, man. It won't be hard. You can probably go to school. Dude, I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay. I guess. Daniel... I get scared, too, you know? But we'll be... We'll be fine. Okay. I trust you.
so big. Dude, it's just a giant fence. Except it won't keep us in. Mom, why? So they can give her shit. But she didn't do anything. The cops will have to let her go. I hope so. Why can't they just leave us alone? They're going to. Once we're over that fucking wall. This shit lasts until Puerto Lobos. Unless our car breaks down in the desert. Uh, hey. Sean, why would they build this? Well, you know, it's a border, man. Is there a wall like this up north? Nah, not really. So, why did they build one here? I don't know, Daniel. That sucks. Is Dad's house in Mexico going to be totally trash, or what? I'm sure it is. Whatever. That's a good project for us, right? I know. It's going to be super easy with my power. Wow. People really just leave stuff for the immigrants? That water must be a hundred degrees, but it's way better than nothing. No wasting time. We need to cross that wall. I think there would be more than a barbed wire fence out here. So, here we are, Daniel. The end of the road. Finally. Let's get out of here. Yeah, take it easy. You can do it. To uh, almost. 
It's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. Shh. Breathe. We did it! <gasps> we fucked that shit up. <laughs> yes! <sighs> it's all thanks to you. It's gonna be all right now. You've done the hardest part. Thanks for taking me down here, Sean. Nah. We did it together, man. Come on. Let's go back to the car. That would be cool if we could just walk to the beach. Ooh. Can't wait to go shopping. I'm dying to get some Choco Crisp. Oh, man. Do they sell those in Mexico? Hmm. <laughs> Same scenery. Different country. So, how long the Puerto Lobos? Only a couple of hours. You know what? You can ask that question once more. Once. Okay, okay. I just can't wait. <sighs> Not going to Puerto Lobos on foot. Dude, I'm melting. Let's go back to the car. Daniel. Daniel! Daniel, talk to me! Daniel! Talk to me! Huh? Oh. Oh. No. No way. Not now. Daniel! Hey! Who are you? Did you shoot my brother? Oh, shit, Madison. I told you it was a fucking kid. Get off of me! Get off of me! Well... Daniel! Is he? He's my brother! He's okay. Bullet just grazed Let him. Let me go! Do not move if you want to keep that arm. Comprende? Keep an eye on the wall. These fuckers blew it up so their friends can cross. Daniel! So what's the plan, huh? I bet there's a dozen more coming through, right? No! We're leaving! Going to Mexico, I swear! Wait, wait. You're trying to break into Mexico. <laughs> That's fucking funny. We're Americans. Americans, damn it! No, it's not legal to blow up walls. That's called terrorism. You get it? Listen, it's a long story. We really are trying to get out of here. You can fucking skateboard across the border ten miles away. So tell me the plan. That was not us. We have no idea how it happened. It, don't fuck with us, kid. You're the only ones around. Looks like no one's coming for now. Anyway, don't waste your energy. I bet the Border Patrol has a big plan for you, mister. Madison, come on! We have to deal with this kid. No, Stop bleeding. Don't touch him. Get off. No, don't move. What? What the fuck? Get it off. Stop. Get it off. Jesus. What the fuck is going on? What? Where's Spencer? He's off duty today. Why? 
<laughs> Listen, uh, we have a deal, he knows. Yeah, I heard about this crap. Not happening anymore. Come on, Maddie. Do what the officer says. <sighs> Fuck! How old is he? He's all right, officer. Don't worry. Shut it! You're both coming with me to the station. What? Are you kidding? What? They're illegals! <sighs> Fuck's sake! What'd I say? Oh. Uh, okay. Up. Up. Take a breath. You okay now? Daniel! What? Uh, I'm sorry, are you Sean? Sean Diaz? <laughs> You're under arrest. Estás bien. Sí. Yo soy Diego. Mi mi esposa Carla y este frijolito de aquí es um, es Ángel. Oh, Ángela. Encantado. Eh, soy Sean. ¿Cómo te sientes, hijo? Um, ¿Han visto un niño de 10 años? Es mi hermanito. Nos separaron cerca del muro. Está herido. Lo llevaron a la enfermería. Si fuera grave, una ambulancia ya habría venido a buscarlo. Si lo dejaron aquí, quiere decir que está bien. Tranquilo, amigo. Aquí no hacen daño a los niños. No way I can break through that door without Daniel's help. This guy must be trained not to listen to anything we say. Excuse me. Do you know where my brother is? He's just a kid. Hello? Hello? Ah. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Pendejo. What the hell is wrong with these people? Seriously. Why are you doing this? What's your problem? Doing what? You shot my ten-year-old brother! It was a mistake. It's just a graze. The fall is what knocked him out. Oh, you don't have to talk to him, Dad. Hope that Campbell's almost done with the paperwork. Then we're out and we're not coming back. Ugh, this place is fucking gross. What the hell is wrong with these people? I wonder how long they've been here. And why. Thanks. I'll remember that. Jeez. Wonder how many people have been locked up in here. Saben cuánto tiempo 
¿Nos van a dejar aquí? No. Esta es la primera vez que intentan cruzar. Me acuerdo de nuestra primera vez. Casi morimos de sed en el desierto. Hace... ¿Hace cuánto tiempo pasó eso? Hace año y medio. El presidente era otro, pero los problemas de nuestro lado de la frontera eran los mismos. Es la tercera vez que intentamos cruzar la frontera. Son muy valientes. Y además estás embarazada. <ríe> Mi Carlita es la mujer más valiente del mundo. <ríe> y la más inteligente también. En nuestro pueblo era profesora. Queremos que el niño nazca en este país. Que tenga la nacionalidad. Queremos darle una vida, una vida mejor a nuestro hijo o hija. Es lo que hizo mi papá. Se fue de México cuando murieron sus padres para ganarse la vida. Pero yo sé que extrañaba su pueblo natal. Por supuesto. Pero seguro que tuvo sus razones para irse, como nosotros. No quiero desanimarte, amigo, pero lo de México no va a ser fácil para ustedes. Es un país magnífico y me cuesta muchísimo dejarlo, pero allá va a ser muy complicado cumplir tus sueños. Ya no tengo sueños aquí. Sean, has vivido en este país toda tu vida con un padre mexicano. Y ahora los tiempos han cambiado. ¿Cómo crees que va a ser todo en el futuro? Los tiempos cambian, pero la gente también. En el camino encontré muchos aliados. Ojalá haya menos personas intolerantes en el futuro. Ojalá. Cuando eres extranjero, Tienes que trabajar aún más duro para arreglártelas. Así funciona. Oh, shit. Enough now. It's America. We speak English. We're just talking. No, the problem is you people breaking into my country. We come here to work. Not, not steal or live at your, at your home. Diego. No, I am so fucking tired. You only come here to cause trouble. And we have to pay for your welfare. You all want a free ride. And that makes me sick. Immigrants built this country. Where did the founding fathers come from, huh? No, 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 that was different. They made the laws. They wouldn't stand by and let this happen. We only want work and, and, and in peace. Yes. A honest job and the ability to raise our child in a safe country. That's all we're looking for. <laughs> That's what you people always say. But the facts speak for themselves. My dad was an immigrant and he worked his ass off, raised a family and made a business. Yeah, and his son ended up in jail. What a role model. Thanks for proving my point. Damn right, baby girl. You hunt us like, 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 like animals. I don't think I have a choice. I want the safest country for my children. See? You love your family like us. We don't go walking hundreds of miles in the desert and risking everything for no reason. We do it for our child. A mother must understand. No, you and your unborn parasite have nothing in common with me and my family. <laughs> what? Maddie. What you say? Oh, see? There you go. Take it easy. This is our country. Siéntate, Diego. Solo vas a empeorar las cosas para ustedes. Tiene razón, amor. No vale nada. Whether you people like it or not, we're not gonna give you a break. You're in jail too, loser. Why are we stuck down here with them? You know us. We're helping you, goddammit! Hey, you have the right to remain silent, so fucking use it, okay? 
All right. Diaz, you're up. How's my brother? Don't worry about him. Now turn around. Hands behind your back. Okay. Let's move it. All right. Sit down. Where's my brother? He's doing fine for a kid who got grazed by a bullet. Lost some blood. But he's tough. They're taking care of him at the infirmary. You want coffee? Okay. Good. Be right back. <sighs> Fuck. What did they do with Daniel? I hope he's all right. No, I got oh, shit. Is it morning already? Haven't seen Daniel. <sighs> Great. Now I can put on a fucking show. No point in getting these off. There are cops everywhere. How am I gonna get myself out of this mess? Of course not. Why am I in here? So tired of all this shit. When will we get a break? I'm a sovereign citizen. Open up. Hey! What are you babbling about now? Do you ever just not yell? It's been a long fucking night. We're all sick of your shit. Oh, shit. Is it morning already? I haven't seen Daniel since yesterday. There you go. Looks like you need it. Thanks. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. Damn. Seriously? Yeah. No. Coffee's gonna make shit. me feel so much better. At least it'll keep me up. Jeez. That's quite a crime spree. It's hard to believe what kids can do nowadays. Killing that officer in Seattle. Vandalizing a motel room. Caught in a, another weird explosion at a pot farm in California. Then you join a religious commune in Nevada. Hmm. Oh. Which ends up burnt to the ground. And... We're not even halfway down the list. One of those things you could get away with. But not all that. It sounds crazy, but I can explain. Explain it to Agent Flores. She's on her way now. She spoke to your mother, who took responsibility for the church fire. That's not true. She had nothing to do with it, and you know it. Don't drag her into this, okay? She's a good person. Hey. It's not up to me, kid. Listen. I feel sorry for you. I really do. But... Denying what you did will only make things worse. It wasn't my fault. All I did was try to survive. Yeah. 
I guess you did. You know, I read the report. You claim that Officer Matthew's death was an accident, so why didn't you wait for the police? No one would have believed what happened. We didn't either. Well, it's too late now. Your case is filled to the brim with evidence. Good news is, your brother's too young to be prosecuted. He'll end up with your grandparents, if they want him. But you're facing a shitload of years between bars. At least he'll get a life. Uh, what I don't get is how two kids can destroy so much stuff. I mean, anywhere you went, something blew up. Seriously. How? Those were just random accidents. Yeah, it's crazy, but it just happens around us. I can't explain it. Uh-huh. Listen, once is an accident. Twice is luck. Three times is enemy action. Whoa! What is that? Sir? I don't think you should... Keep your ass in that seat. Sean! You okay? How do you feel? I, I'm okay. Just a little headache. Hold on. Dude, we gotta go. Hold up. Is he okay? I, I wanted to rescue you, but I, I had to use my power. I didn't want to hurt him. He's okay. Don't worry. We gotta go. Get us out of here. Oh, it's got enough. Sean, who are these people? Well, Carla and Diego. They came all the way from Mexico and got thrown in jail for it. As for the others, they're the ones who tried to shoot you. What? They got locked up? Good. Oh, go to hell. Hold on. We're gonna get you out. Daniel? Wow. That's it. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Espérenme aquí. Until I check this out. O of course. What? Holy mother. How'd you do that? How? Well, what the fuck are you? Shall we try to make peace with these morons? <sighs> Daniel, can you open their cell? What if they attack us? They won't. Trust me. All right. Step back. What are you doing? You're welcome. Why? What did you do that for? Because we're not assholes. Thank you. Yeah, don't make us regret this. What do we do now? You think Stay I here. killed him? No, no, no. he's around. okay. You'll just you wake up with them. a nasty headache. Shh. You heard all that noise? They're not alone. We're not cut out for this. Oh, okay. You're right. But you have to hurry, Sean. He's out for the count. Good thinking, Daniel. I 
really made a mess. Sorry. Come on. Let's get out before the fucking backup gets here. Okay, hands oh, up! Shit! Don't oh, move! Don't shoot! Hands up! Do not move! Wait! Sean. Stay back, Daniel. Let me think. Sean, what do I do? Quick. I gotta find something to stop them. They're gonna get us. We will shoot if we need to. Understand? The chair. What the fuck? I'm scared. Do something. Put him in there. Now. Okay. You're the man. Now let's move. Sean, I think our things are in there. Your backpack is in there, Sean. Go get it. Hey, where are you going? Your stuff is here. Good thinking, Daniel. Our shit is still here. Finally, good news. Step back. Nice. Don't move. I'll be right back. Okay, but be quick. They must really feel threatened to put so much effort into this. After this, you're not gonna hunt shit anymore. Bet it belongs to one of these trigger-happy people. Look at that. There's Crime Central. Let's go! Come on, Sean! We gotta go! We would be so dead if we didn't have Daniel's power. I hate that he has to use this for all this shit. Take it out, Daniel. Que Dios los bendiga. Okay, go, go! Let's roll, Daniel. Chasing us. Not yet. Emergency. This is an all points bulletin for every unit in the area. Multiple prisoners, two adults, and two teenagers have escaped from the El Ray police station. They are considered armed and dangerous. Repeat. Are we still going to Mexico? Yeah. We got nowhere else to go. Sean. It's the 4th of July. Our first one without dad. You're right. Remember how he was so in the fireworks every year? He always made us go too early so we could get a good spot. <laughs> I know. He is so corny. He said he was proud to live in this country. Shh. 
shit. Sean, what are we gonna do? You know that day in Seattle? The day Dad was shot? I think about it every day. And I would give anything to change what happened. But I can't. I'm sorry for my mistakes. I tried my best. I swear. Sean. I'm so proud of you, Nano. Just like Dad would be. We both learned a lot together. But you can make your own rules now. If we surrender, they will separate us, Daniel. And if that happens, promise me that you will always do the right thing, okay? Don't. Waste your power. Be smart like you already are. I don't want to be separated. Hear me out. Please. Don't make any more mistakes. Whatever happens, always remember that you're Daniel Diaz. I promise, Sean. So, how does the story of the Wolf Brothers end? They make it to the other side. Huh. What? You sure? Trust me, okay? Just get us through. Hold on tight. Oh, fuck. I don't wanna. I'm not hurting anyone at all. Sean, over the fire. fire! It's too late. They're shooting at us, Daniel. This is the only way. I'm sorry, Sean, but I have to go. What? What are you talking about? Don't turn back for me. <gasps> I hope you'll be happy in Mexico.